This is Russell Whitney and just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the power of partnerships and networking. Your net worth is your net work is what one of my mentors Kevin Harrington told me and many years ago I really didn't understand in my 20s the power of networking, creating contacts, establishing contacts, and keeping good relationships. I remember many years ago in my early 20s, I got a little cocky, I got a little arrogant, I thought everybody in the world owed something to me, and it hurt me. It actually hurt a lot of future business relationships and business dealings because of my attitude at that point in time. So once I found out, and once my mentor, um, I actually, what happened is I was out with my mentor, Kevin Harrington, and no matter where I went, everybody just loved this guy. I mean, no matter what, anybody that talked about him, loved him, said he was a great guy, that he was just absolutely genuine, nice, loved doing business with him. And after I heard this, not just two or three times, probably every person I've talked to, I said, wow, that's the man you want to be. That's the person I want to be for myself. And I remember talking to Kevin one time on a phone call and he said, Russell, you have so many contacts in your network, you just need to learn how you can start putting contacts together and making money together. So after that, it really sparked me to start forming good, solid, lasting relationships and also follow through with my commitment. By doing that, I've partnered with so many of my contacts and I've generated not only a lot of cash for myself, but a lot of cash for them. So when you're out there in the market and when you're out there at a live event or when you're on an airplane or you're out at dinner anywhere, if you can take the time just to find out a little bit of information about the person sitting next to you. Perfect example is I was flying home this week from Houston, Texas, and this guy got on the plane next to me, rock and roll looking guy, and he's in all black, and I said, what are you doing? He had a video camera with him. So that sparked our call because, uh, or sparked our conversation because I had my video camera. And he goes, well, uh, I travel around and I got this little webisode where I do goth homes and goth makeup. Over. So basically he kind of makes the home look gothic for the goth crowd. And I really didn't think there was a huge crowd for that. However, after him showing me his Instagram, I mean, the guy's got like 25,000 plus followers on Instagram and is pretty well known in this community. And we got to talk and creating a conversation. And from then, he actually started looking for some of my expert advice on how he could start generating money with what he does. Because right now, he does uh, some rock and roll shows and then on the side, he'll go shoot a webisode about remodeling somebody's home. But he didn't ever understand that he could provide information to the market space and that he could start selling his information, ideas, and what he does. So just by me taking that few seconds to talk with the gentleman, I ended up creating a contact that we could possibly do some business dealings on later on down the road. I know he wants some websites built, some funnels, some email follow-ups, and I gave him one tip. He said he does rock shows where he sees anywhere from a thousand people up to 10,000 people, and I said, well, why don't you build your following right at that show? Have everybody pull out their cell phone and say, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna pick the first 10 people that do. Uh, I'm gonna give you free merchandise or give them something for free. And that just absolutely blew the guy's mind. That one little piece of information could end up generating that guy hundreds of thousands of dollars down the road. But also what it did is I gave him great value in that little bit of time and we created, established a contact together where we'll possibly do business later on. I know just in the past couple of years alone, I've made over six figures in just putting contacts together and making some money by putting contacts together. And also, it's helped me to joint venture and build my businesses in my brand. So uh, for you, if you're looking, if you're an expert, or if you're just a young entrepreneur coming up, if you're in sales, any type of business, keep networking, get as many contacts as you can, and try to keep a Rolodex of those contacts. See what they do in business, and then also think about future, okay? Maybe the guy's a Facebook marketer, or maybe he's great at SEO, or maybe this person's really good at selling. Whatever their value is, whatever they bring to the table, I'm sure there's gonna be a point in time where there's a company or a business that you work with that will need those services. For me, I broker a lot of services. 
doesn't mean I own every single service, but I can broker them and I can get business going for anybody out there and be basically a middleman, a broker at the end of the day. And brokers make tons and tons of money. So for those of you that are watching this video, this little bit of advice literally can make you a six and seven figure income, create more contacts for yourself in your own business, but also it's a great way for you to help other people out create and solve, uh, uh, create, find their need basically, and then create a solution. That solution is one of your contacts that's in your Rolodex. Maybe they need somebody that's an internet marketer. Maybe they need a plumber. It doesn't matter what it is. Get contacts, more contacts you have, more in your network, the more your net worth will be. Hope this little bit, bit of advice helped you out. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Uh, please subscribe to my video and like, comment, share the video.